What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be installing the Garage Alpha off-road grill for the Subaru Crosstrek. I have it wired up to my battery right now so you can see how the lights look. Um, I love the look of it, I think it's gonna look good. So let's jump right into the install. Guys, so I am doing the install at night. It's because I'm in Florida and it's just too hard to do it during the day. But first, you're gonna to wanna to pop these four tabs off. That's right under the hood. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm just gonna use this trim removal tool. Pop each one out. Just be careful not to break them. I'm just gonna put them in my pocket. Right, then you have these two side ones you also gotta pop out. There's one here, and then one here. So you gotta pop those out as well. Pocket. So easy enough, this tool makes a world of difference. Right, then you should just be able to pop this plastic piece right off. Ooh, so that comes out. And now you have access down to the inside. Well, I believe it's going to be a few screws that you take out. All right, so this next part's going to be a little tricky. There's four screws in here. So you're going to need a shorty screwdriver on a Phillips head. And you got to unscrew them. Just make sure you don't drop them. So it's two on this side, there's gonna be two more on this side. Okay, obviously it's gonna lose. So now I got those four out. Alright, so now that I got all the rivets and the screws out, this should just pop right out. Might have to pull it a little bit because it's just clipped in. And boom. Alright, so. So it's all unscrewed and you just pop it off. Set that here. Now the new one. Just pop it right back on. Kind of get a look at what see what it's gonna look like. Pop this back in. There's you get those brackets all down here. So you're gonna see those brackets all along the bottom. You're just gonna pop those into the bottom down here. So it should be pretty easy to get back on. First thing though, just so it's easier when it's off, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the wire and harness for the lights. That way I don't got to deal with it when it's already on the core. Oops. 
for three, four switches. Or four clips that you gotta clip in. And I'm probably gonna wire it up to the running lights that I have on the car already. That way I don't gotta worry about them, it just comes on when the car's on. it out of the way for now. Pop it in. So now we're just going to do everything we just did but in reverse. So I'm going to put the four screws in first. So now we got all the screws on, and I'm gonna put the top rivets back in. So there's one here, and all along these, and then one here. These are gonna be the two main ones, so make sure you put those in. So it's easier if you have it pulled out before you put it in. So you can actually pull it out completely, shove it in there, and then put the rivet in. Just makes it a little easier. So I'm gonna put that back in. Don't know if I'm gonna match with it. First, I'm gonna wire it up, but it's a pretty simple install. Probably wire it up tomorrow when it's daylight. It won't take that long. All right, so I'll see y'all then. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap into an accessory fuse for the power for the lights, 
And that way they only come on when I turn the car on. Uh, that way I just don't gotta worry about it. So that opens that and we'll put the old one in. And then I'm hoping it'll fit down in here where there's enough space for it. Okay, now that I have power going to it, I'm gonna ground it to the fuse box that I made. Uh, it just kinda controls all my lights, but I have a couple extra ground ports, so I'm just gonna ground it to that for now, I figure it's the easiest. Oops, I'm gonna pull this one out. And just put that right in it, and then screw it back in. All right, now if everything's right, they should come on when I go to turn the car on. So let's see. Nice. Alright guys, so that's it for the install. I just gotta run the wiring harness. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that. But that was it. So there she is. Love the look of it. Definitely fits the car pretty good. Really happy. Alright, so that was the install of the Garage Alpha off-road grill for the Subaru Crosstrek. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.